what is up everybody welcome to another let's talk and on this one we're going to do the impressions game basically so um i was playing dark siders genesis uh, i got this game um when it released on february 14th i meant to do this a while ago but just never had a chance to sit down and actually do it so i want to give my impressions of the game the game is now available for everything you can get it on stadia pc uh uh, Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo. So you're able to get this game. And um, I think its regular price is $39.99. I got one of the editions because I wanted the actual Statue of Stripes, so I went on and got that. But I'm about 10 hours in. So here's the thing. First thing you need to know about this game is that it finally introduces the final horseman that is playable, and that is Strife. Um, Darksiders 1, 2, and 3 all feature a different horseman. The first one is War. Um, in two, you play with death. In three, you play with fury. And in this one, you finally get to play strife. But it, instead of it being his own game, you actually team up with war. Um, and this game serves as a prequel to the series. That being said, let's pro con this. OK, so pros, the good that I found in it, at least in my opinion, strife as a character is awesome. I love his uh the way his character is he's pretty sarcastic and funny has a nonchalant attitude and i think it meshes real well with war because war is basically playing the straight man to strife's um comedic timing basically the combat i like it it feels fast and it's forensic and you can actually if you're playing by yourself you can um actually it, it actually is easy to swap between the two characters um one thing to note, this game is a co-op game, so you can play couch or online. I just haven't um, found any. I haven't been able to test that out yet. But there are places if you don't start the game like that, there are places in the um, map, the little summoning things where you can go and summon somebody to come in and join your game. So you can always, if you want to, find someone to play play with you online. Uh, the music is pretty good. I actually like it. I like the soundtracks of all of these games in the Dark Sider series, and this one is more of the same. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, the voice acting, there is voice acting in the game. It is very good. And the dialogue isn't bad either. Like from what I've heard so far, the dialogue isn't too bad. It's it's actually done very well. So it's not it's nothing that you'll be like shaking your head at, like, why in the world do they say that? So I, I think it's done very well. The game does have light RPG elements um that work in its favor. There's a creature core system that gives you your buffs and your debuffs and things of that nature. And you have to play it a little bit to get used to it. Um there are uh, certain elements to that creature core system that I thought are a little bit annoying, but the more I use it, the more I get used to it. I, I see why the why Airship Syndicate did it the way they did it. Um, you, I'll probably have to do another video on that just because like it's it's a little annoying to me, but I'll probably do another video just talking about the actual creature core once I get everything like I want it. The art style, once again, um, one of the standouts for this entire series is the art style. Joe Mad's, Joe Maddow area's art style is on point. Um, he did the artist for the first two games. You don't know who that is. He is a, he was a comic book artist for Marvel. He did uh, Uncanny X-Men and some more uh, comics when he was working with Marvel, and now he's transitioned into the game world. So he... If you know his artwork, his artwork is pretty boss. Um, a lot of people like it. You can follow him on Twitter. I think it's at Joe Mad. I think. I don't know. I think that's it. Well, I don't know. I can't remember what it actually is off the top of my head, but he's actually a pretty good artist if you want to ever follow him. You can try to find him on Twitter, but you, you'll you see his art style is still kind of like influenced in, in the game, and I like the environments and what they do. Now, for the things that I didn't like, um oh boy uh the camera that camera is bad even though they let you like swing it around a little bit uh the problem is this it's a top down view for this game so and i'm not a fan of that either i'm not a fan of the top down view the way they have it set up and they want you to um find secrets but some of those secrets are hidden by the environment and the camp you can't swing the camera around on some of the things that you were you would miss so it, it's the the camera is 
weird because I don't have full control over. I wish I did, but I don't. So it, it causes, unless you just take your time and walk into every every little thing, you're going to miss something. And that's unfortunate. Um, like I said, I'm not a big fan of the arts of the uh, of the top down viewpoint. Uh, I think that it can work well on certain games. I just don't think it works well on this one, it's, especially given what you're trying to do in this game. Uh, all in all, um, I think the game is fun. I, I think it does have some issues, but I do think it's a very fun game. I think if you want to give it a shot, you should. It's only, like I said, it's only like $39, I think, regular price. Uh, if you're a fan of the series, definitely try it out. Uh, like I said, I enjoy it because I enjoy that series a lot. Um, I enjoy um, getting to see Strife playable because Strife is a lot of fun. Um, I, would, I wouldn't I would mind seeing a game with all four of them in it, but I don't know how they would do it. I just don't think they need to do the uh, top-down view ever again. I just I do not like how they have their top-down viewpoint set up. If anything, I wouldn't mind them going back to the action style that they have for three and two the straight up action style. Uh, if they were going to do four with, um, do like dark side four with all four of them in it, I think they should go adopt the style more like devil may cry or something, um, or more of an action oriented action focused game. If it were me, but, uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, in the comments, um, what kind of game would you like to see if they do a, uh, fifth one? Well, not a fourth one, but a fifth one, a uh, fourth one in the actual series numbered four. Um, uh, what would you like to see if they were to go move forward with it? And have you tried it out? Uh, leave a comment, let me know. And thanks for watching. And I will see you guys on the next Lex talk. Peace. Strife. You know who I am? Yeah. I met your sister once. She was a lot bigger than you. <laughs> but not as pretty. <laughs> what do you want, little horse man? <clears throat> Malgros the Defiler. For conspiring with Lucifer committing countless crimes against all of creation, and by order of the Council, I hereby sentence you to death. Who? <laughs> you come into my place alone, I threaten me, and think you're just walking out of here. It does sound funny hearing you say it. I'm gonna count to three. If you're still standing here, I'm gonna defile your corpse in ways you can't possibly imagine. Feed what's left to my boys. Horse meets their favorites. One, two, three. Sorry. We're in a hurry. Oh, and, uh, I'm not alone.